Imagine being able to go wherever you want in the entire world and watching whatever you want on your own personal projector. That is no longer a reality, and I'm excited to tell you that today's video is sponsored by NREAL because the NREAL Airs are finally coming to the United States, and they'll be available at the link in the video description from Amazon for only $379. But these are the favorite PC accessory that I've had in quite some time because of just how good these glasses are at creating your own personal visual space. The possibilities of what you can use this for are nearly unlimited. This is honestly my favorite accessory for the Steam Deck. And that's in fact where I first heard about them from Craft Computing's video where he found the perfect Steam Deck accessory because it's as simple as plugging in the USB-C cable into the Steam Deck, plugging the USB-C into the NRE real air glasses and then you can see the screen turns off here and now I have my video games on my eyeballs on a 130 inch screen with speakers and everything included. This honestly is a phenomenal accessory but I do want to caution you guys that these things actually look way better than what I can show to you on the screen because filming through lenses and glasses to get like a projector image onto a camera was incredibly difficult just because of the depths of field and the focus levels and all of that. So this is the crazy concoction that we use to film it using our phone because that was the easiest way that we could actually capture the image. But just know that the image is much more clear and vibrant than what you can actually capture it through as on a camera. But let me just give you a spec list of what you're getting here. I mentioned 130 inch screen. That's if you're using things besides the official Nebula app from Nreal on one of the approved Android devices. That can actually get you up to 200 inch display. And when you connect with things like Xbox Cloud Gaming or Stadia or anything like that, you can have a 200 inch projector using Android in order to get your gaming in the largest projector size possible. But if you use it on something like a Steam Deck, well then you're gonna look at something more like 130 inches. But in my opinion, that's still plenty of space. Now the resolution on these glasses is 3840 by 1080 or 1920 by 1080 per eye. So essentially 1080p screen that's being projected for you. And that's up to 49 pixels per degree. And I cannot understate, again, we cannot visually represent this very easily on screen, just how good this looks. If you pixel peep, yeah, you can kind of see the pixels on that 1080p screen, but for how sleek these glasses are and the limited effort you need to actually get them set up, I'm actually blown away by it. But then you also have the OLED screen, which allows you to have that transparent projection. And it's actually really good at contrasting from the background. It's up to 400 nits peak brightness, but it actually really does separate from other objects. Of course, if you point it at the sun, it's gonna wash it out. Or if you point it at a massively bright screen, you're gonna struggle. But even in a studio environment like this, where I have studio lights set up, I can still play games from my Steam Deck on the Nreal Air glasses, no problem. The actual brightness on this display is good enough to play in essentially every scenario that you could possibly want. But don't worry, even if you are outside and you can't actually get the brightness to what you want, they include these little clip-on shades that you put onto the front of the lenses and then you actually have blackout so that you can make sure that you're getting the highest contrast ratio of the screen to your eyeballs. It does reduce the ability of you using this in an augmented reality fashion of you being able to see the real world, but it does help for privacy reasons or making sure that you can actually get the best contrast in scenarios where otherwise it might not be good. But in case you're actually trying to use these at night, it does allow you to actually drop the brightness on it as well as implement a blue light filters so that you can cut the blue light in order to help you in darker environments or as you're trying to prepare to go to sleep. The refresh rate's only up to 60 hertz, but honestly, I think that's plenty. And just again, as I've mentioned, the sleekness, the form factor of this is really exciting. But it's not just the fact that you can plug it in via USB-C to something like an Android device or the Steam Deck. It is actually way more versatile than that. That's because of the Nreal adapter, which is now available for pre-order here in the United States. And this little guy really opens up your possibilities of what you can use the Nreal Air glasses for. You want a 130 inch screen from your gaming laptop, super simple. It allows you to take the HDMI signal from whatever output you want to the USB-C onto the glasses and it's a 
simple as plugging it in. Now this Enreal Air adapter is a battery pack rated for up to 2600 milliamp hours. So it does last a little while for you to be able to play whatever movies or video games you want. But just know that the glasses are actually so sleek because the batteries are not held in here. And if you connect it to something like the Steam Deck, the Steam Deck's battery is actually what's going to be powering the Enreal Air rather than the glasses themselves. Again, the same thing with an Android device. But if you're connecting it up to a laptop or something else that has an HDMI output, this is going to be your battery pack. But now they actually have support for Apple devices using this Lightning multimedia adapter that you can pick up from Apple. It allows you to go out from Lightning to HDMI. And again, it's just as simple as connecting this adapter, plugging in the USB-C to the Nreal Air glasses, and then plugging it in to your iPhone. And then you get the full range of whatever you want. So this really is a great mobile projection setup for anybody, whether you're an Android user, you're an iPhone user, you want to take your Steam Deck on the go, you want to take your gaming laptop on the go, it really opens up the broad possibilities of what you could possibly want to do just while you're out and about. And I can't understate just how much I actually love these glasses. And I know that this is a sponsored video, but the conditions of the sponsorship was that I was gonna have to send these back afterwards. And as soon as I tried these out for like half an hour, I had our marketing person contact Enreal and just essentially beg them to let me keep them because they are that good. Perfect for everything that I've been looking for. You might remember on this channel, I've done things like a bed gaming setup so that I can play video games while my wife watches TV and we can enjoy our recreational time together because sometimes we want to consume different mediums. And I could use something like a VR headset, but I can't connect it to all of the devices that I possibly want. I'm limited in my sensory perception of the world around me. And then it's just, it's not good for spending recreational time with my family. With the Unreal Air glasses, I can still, while my kids are watching TV, play video games right behind them and still make sure that they're safe, especially my youngest and get to be able to play whatever game that I want on my Steam Deck. Now on the Android device, you actually have access to the regular projection screen like I've been talking about, but you also with the Nebula app have access to mixed reality, which allows you to engage with certain applications, certain games in the real world where it moves with you and it has head tracking, making sure that you are engaging with it in an augmented way. Whereas with the rest of the devices, with the lack of software support, it really is just a good projector screen, allowing you to enjoy high quality visuals as you're using the glasses. And then for audio on the actual arm of the glasses, I don't, I don't wear glasses, so I don't know the official term, but the speakers are actually positioned towards the back like you would find on a typical virtual reality headset. And then it projects the sound directly into your ears. And I found that while I'm playing games, my wife can't really hear what's going on. They can get loud enough in order for other people to hear what's going on around you. But if you keep them on a lower volume setting, it's really projected directly into your ears so that this is a more private experience. And if you're somebody who needs corrective eyewear, it does have a prescription lens insert so that you can actually use these with prescription lenses. It was not something I was able to test out, but it actually is easy to get set up, especially with the variable nose pads. It has small, medium, and large in order to make sure that it fits the vast majority of people's faces. But the Enreal Air glasses really allow for something like an IMAX like experience just in your pocket. Being able to put these on and having a bigger visual representation of whatever I'm trying to see is incredible. And I'm going to be looking forward to using these on the airplane when we travel to TwitchCon in about a week so that I can have my Steam Deck playing the games, but I can actually experience it in a giant screen as opposed to kind of sitting over this. It really is a great solution for making sure that you can enjoy whatever it is you're doing to the best screen possible in public. So that is the Enreal Air. They are now available in the US. I'm very excited for it. I was incredibly excited about this sponsorship and I'm so excited to have these and to keep these now because they said yes to my request of being able to hold on to these. But 1080p per eye, micro OLED, 130 inch screen from a Steam Deck, compatibility with any device that ha supports DisplayPort over USB-C. It really is an incredibly versatile solution for you and I encourage you to check it out at the link in the video description. And again, big thanks to Enreal for sponsoring today's video.